Hey guys, Dr. Norris Goldberg here, owner and clinical director at Coru Chiropractic Corrective Care, Louisville, Colorado. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about whiplash injuries and some of the post symptom effects and what you can do to get back on track after having a whiplash injury. So the first thing is how do you even get a whiplash? It's actually a lot easier than people think. Uh, the problem is we have this big heavy head up here. It weighs about 10 to 12 pounds on this little skinny neck with not a lot of support. And so as we get into accidents and injuries, if our body is stopped in a sudden manner, but our head keeps going, that's when we're going to get a whiplash. So obviously things like car accidents, a lot of people believe that it has to be a really high impact accident, but a lot of the research has showed that even an accident at five to eight miles an hour can cause serious damage to the spine. And the reason being is the cars are really decide, designed to crumple uh, at a high velocity. And so if you're going slow, they don't crumple, but that force still goes through the car, right? And so when you're hitting multi ton objects at each other, something's got to move, right? And usually it's our soft little bodies inside the car that get, take the big brunt of the force. Okay. The other thing is seatbelts, they save lives, but when they're strapped over our shoulder like this, it usually holds our torso against that seat for at least a little bit. It kind of catches us. Usually they lock as they start moving too fast, but then the head will whip forward and many headrests are actually designed where the seat will lean back and the headrest will push forward. And the issue with this is that it actually allows that little area right there, your neck normally is curved the opposite direction. It allows that neck to slam backwards against the headrest as well as you're bouncing back and forth during an accident like that. Another common cause of whiplash injuries is like contact sports and around here in the Boulder area, we see lots of like bike accidents and ski injuries where people, you know, lose their balance, they hit a rock, whatever it might be. And all of a sudden their body's there and their head is over here, right? And so these injuries can really cause problems when they damage the spine, right? So if you've had a really bad accident, uh, if you're very symptomatic, if you're in, you know, extreme pain, you always should go to the emergency room first, get checked out, get all the scans, potentially be getting an MRI or a CAT scan of the head to make sure that you don't have any like brain bleeds or anything that is life threatening. Okay. So once that's all cleared up, a lot of times, even after a small whiplash that you didn't even need to go to the hospital for two, three, maybe even up to 14 days later, you may start to experience some pain and stiffness in the neck and shoulders. A lot of people experience like more headaches in their uh, head, uh, sometimes even dizziness or even as extreme as vertigo. Uh, other times you have other like post concussive syndrome uh, symptoms. So things like, you know, memory loss and brain fog, sleeping disturbances, uh, chronic fatigue. These are signs that, you know, and really the fact is that when you get a whiplash, or even if you just hit your head on something hard, you're typically going to have some sort of effect on the neck, right? And as an upper cervical chiropractor, we know that when we realign the neck, if we identify you have a misalignment, when we realign it, you're going to be a lot better off because if we don't get those joints into the right position again, if we don't get the spine moving and bending and twisting the way that we want it to, then it's going to turn into a really chronic problem. And unfortunately, a lot of those symptoms are going to set in and be the new normal for you. So we don't want that to happen. And so today I want to talk to you a little bit about what we do to help these issues, right? In Koru Chiropractic, we often are doing a combination of adjustments, some corrective exercises or rehab and other therapeutic modalities, things like manual release and soft tissue work, okay? There's plenty of other things you can do to help take care of the spine, things like acupuncture. Uh, I mentioned soft tissue modalities, so that's things like massage or roll thing. And I always encourage someone who's been really banged up after an accident to just almost do all of it, right? It's all gonna help. They all come at it from a different angle. And for a lot of people, they can benefit from doing a multifaceted approach, right? So at Koru, what we specialize in is corrective care. And corrective care is aimed to fix things like loss of cervical curve and upper cervical misalignments or you know pelvic misalignments. And a lot of these things are required after a traumatic accident or injury, okay? And the reason being, when you get that whiplash, if you see this little model here, here's my disc and these are the, the nerves coming out. Well, normally, you know, again, we want these bones moving side to side, front to back, but that whiplash injury, what it does, it really moves it way too fast and violently where it can potentially uh, tear some of the ligaments back here on the disc or in between the spinous processes or in really extreme cases, even cause a disc herniation. Okay. And that's really unfortunate circumstances because we can help that type of person, but it's uh, a lot tougher to fix 
than just the basic kink in the neck, okay? Uh, fortunately, we know how to do that, and the way we do it is, again, through realigning the spine with gentle and specific adjustments, and then following up with rehabilitative exercises to really strengthen and stabilize your neck again so that everything is tuned up to the level that it needs to be to continue to have a healthy spine for the rest of your life, okay? Now, the other thing that happens, again, I mentioned those facet joints where the some of the shear forces go on and how it can, you know, it doesn't move that much, hopefully, because you'd be dead. But if it, it moves a little bit and you start, you know, tearing or ripping those ligaments, there's obviously muscles and tendons that attach to these bones. You can sprain or strain those. And uh, the other thing that will happen is because, again, this big, this is the back of the skull here, this big weight goes forward it oftentimes will create a subluxation or misalignment at the top of the spine here. And at first, it's just going to cause a lot of stiffness and pain, but eventually your body, even if you don't do anything, will try to heal itself. But it's not always a complementary compensation, as I like to say. You know, just because it's getting better doesn't mean that you're going to be better long term. And what I mean by that is, let's say you get hit from the side and you get a big kink in your neck. You're not going to walk around like this for very long because that's going to make that dizziness and the headache and the neck pain worse. So oftentimes we alter our body position, our brain and our eyes are always the priority. So we kind of level those out. And as they're leveled out, now I have this unlevel shoulder. You can't see my hips and pelvis, but those are unlevel. I'm putting uh, uneven amounts of weight into each leg. And so eventually it turns into a whole body problem, not just a neck problem. All right. And so with corrective care with gentle adjustments, we can typically get great results. And if you have suffered from a whiplash injury, even if it was years ago and you're really struggling with problems, I would love to do a consultation with you and see if it's something we could help you with. And I've also included some exercises and other blogs and videos that you can do from home to try to get these issues better. Okay, guys, hope you're having a great day. Talk soon.